New York City in autumn is a symphony of color. Everywhere you turn, you can see the leaves slowly changing and falling to earth. But strewn among the ginkgo trees and red maples that line our city streets, you'll also find one kind of man-made vegetation clinging resolutely to the branches. Plastic bags, New York's year-round foliage. The process of getting bags out of trees requires some special tools and the expertise of a special crew the bag snaggers. This is Barry Elmore, a bag snagger at the New York Restoration Project, an environmental nonprofit that was started in 1995 with the mission of keeping New York clean by an unexpected New Yorker. So here we have an email from Bette Midler to tell us where exactly she wants us to bag snag. And Whenever possible, the NYRP responds to requests from local residents, and even their founder, Bette Midler, dispatching their small crew to under-resourced areas. The bag snaggers are charged with the uniquely New York duty, interrupting the bustling streets of Lower Manhattan, Upper Manhattan, and the Bronx long enough to hoist their hooks two, three stories into the air and pluck out the urban detritus from our street trees. The bag snaggers can work their way through as many as 10 blocks at a time, stopping at a tree with litter and removing whatever they find. Depending on the height and the type of the trash, a single tree could take 10 minutes or more. I had trouble bag snagging, trying to get the pole to reach the bags and trying to get the bags to like um, gently come off the branches. Because what we do is we, we try not to like break the branches of the trees. So we carefully just take the pole up there and twist it around and um, gently pull it out without damaging the tree. The tools are simple and the work is laborious. It requires a balance of finesse and brute strength to coax tangled garbage out of these trees. Aha, bro. <laughs> these are the most annoying things we come across, balloons, the twine. Sometimes it gets hooked. I have to cut it out. There's something surreal about the process of bag snagging. Something anachronistic and whimsical. Twist it. A little bit to the right. There you go. But in a city that defies the vertical limits of our imagination, it starts to make sense. Where else but New York City could the act of balancing a giant hook three stories in the air on a busy city street be the most sensible solution to a problem? 